channel and today I thought that I would share with you my flat top! Yay! <laughs> um, around, what month is it now? November? So, very much April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, wow! Um, around 10 months ago I moved back to South Korea um, and I've been living in this place for the last 10 months it is coming to the end of my first year in Korea and so my first contract and so I thought that I would show you around where I've been living. Um, obviously I don't live in Seoul. I live in, well, technically Incheon but it's not really Incheon and it's not really Seoul. It's one of the newer cities um, that's on sort of like a lot of the new developments that are springing up in um, Korea currently. So my room is a lot larger than you would expect if you were coming out to teach in South Korea or coming out to somewhere with um, rented accommodation. Yeah, and you were looking in a very popular city like Seoul. Um, my room itself is 69.44 metres squared, so it is pretty damn big for an office tell, which is what I live in. Uh, my accommodation is also provided by my company, so I don't actually have to pay for this, which is great. I have to pay for like utilities and internet and things like that, but the bulk of my rent is not paid, and yeah, so remember that. All in all though, I really do like living in my apartment. I'm not so keen on the area, but that's a video for another time. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. Um, it might give you an idea of what to expect at least, if you are planning to come to South Korea to teach at least. Um, not, I'm not really sure, obviously, like what other apartments are like. Well. I, when I used to live here, I lived in a three-bed apartment, which was quite hard to find. I, I found it on Craigslist. <laughs> so I haven't really used um, or seen a lot of other accommodations in Korea, um, other than, like, houses and things like that. But, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoy, and, yeah. I hope you liked my flat. <laughs> So as you come in, we'll just wait for this to focus because I'm using a 35mm lens on um, autofocus, which was a bad idea. But the first thing that you come in and see is like the little area where you take off your shoes. Um, obviously you don't wear shoes in the house in Asia and you pan up to see the corridor that leads into the main area of my room. Um, my room came furnished, so I had a sofa that you can see there. Those are my cases, because um, I don't actually have anywhere to put them. I've got sofa. Um, it's not the best, but it was already here when I came in. You have TV, which is affixed to the wall. I have five channels, <laughs> which is great. Um, this is where like, I have a lot of my makeup stuff at the moment. I have my bed, which is a single, um, laptop and stuff. I've got cute cuddly toys. Then you can pan over to here, which I have a counter, which is actually fully movable. I keep a lot of like my important stuff there and my workout shoes. Then I have like a little bit of a kitchen, microwave, counter, um, washing machine, sink, I don't have an oven. Ovens are very rare in Korea, unless you're living in a house. Um, I have a hob. But yeah, smallish kitchen, but it's enough for me. It's what I need, which is a good thing. It's really quite bright. Like, I love how bright my flat is. I really, really do. Um, yeah. Can pan down a little bit, see the sofa. I know with this lens that it doesn't actually look as big as it is but it's pretty sizable for an office towel. Like, some of my friends live in places that are basically like a third of the size or a half of the size. So, I'm just walking over to my hob. I have an electric hob. Um, I was cooking lunch at this point in time. 
that's where I keep a lot of like the packaging and boxes and stuff. I've got a laundry bin. Yay. Um, so yeah, I have an electric hob, as you can see, kettle came with the flat, um, sink, and then like you can see the corner that I was standing in beforehand. Yeah. I didn't really know how to best like show you this. <laughs> Um, there's not really much to say as it is like a one bed. I have these massive windows though. Um, they let in so much natural light, whether it's summer, whether it's winter. Um, they do take up basically the whole of the wall. I don't have proper blinds for them. The blinds that you can see only cover like a little bit of the window. They don't go the whole way. Um, I also don't have like buck, like mosquito filters on my windows, which is bad. Right, just flipped you around. This is the like um wow blur. This is the hallway. The white cupboards are my wardrobes, and the blue one is my fridge freezer. Top is the fridge, bottom is the freezer. There's a cupboard right at the top, but I can't reach it at all. And now we're moving to the bathroom. Um, I actually have a proper, like, different differentiated shower to my actual, um bathroom well I have a shower basically that is not a wet room a lot of bathrooms in Korea are wet rooms um so you have basically everything in there um you also sometimes get your washing machines in there but I have a actual enclosed shower let me show you um yeah so that's the glass door wow moving back moving back there we go um, I have like two he two shower heads. There's the one that I use most often and then as we go up you can see I have like a waterfall shower head. I don't like that one as much. Um, it kind of makes me feel like I'm drowning. But yeah, it's a pretty decent bathroom size. Like, um, I have a shower and then sink, big mirror, huge mirror which I do need to clean, but huge mirror. And then that is everything. Yay! So there it is. Um, I really love like how much natural light I get. It can get very hot in the mornings, even in winter, but I'm really happy with like this. If I could have this place, but in Seoul, I would be ah, the happiest girl alive. But mm, sadly, when I move, it will probably, I, I'm probably gonna have to like downsize Oh, well, not I'm probably going to have to, but I will probably downsize considerably, which is sad, but I really, right now, I really kind of need to be in Seoul. Anyway, um, as I said, I don't live in Seoul. My flat is much larger than um, what most people would expect. So if you are planning to move to Korea and you get something that's like half of this size, please don't be discouraged, please. Um... And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to follow me on my social channels, then I will link them down below and also maybe pop them in cards. I don't know. Um, follow me on Instagram. It would make my day. Um, I post a lot of daily things on like Instagram stories. I post a lot of um, outfits and stuff if that's your thing. I also post a lot of food. I like food. Um, you can also follow me on my blog, on Twitter, on Facebook, I guess. I have everything. Um, <laughs> yay. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.